Words appear. Equal access, universal design of an academic department. Young people walk on a campus. The student population at universities and colleges is becoming increasingly diverse. Both students and staff need equal access to courses, facilities, and all aspects of campus life. Two young women in wheelchairs roll down a sidewalk side by side. Yet people with disabilities still find inaccessible websites, course materials, and facilities. One solution is the implementation of universal design. Architect Ron Mace defined it as the design of products and environments to be usable by all people to the greatest extent possible without the need for adaptation or specialized design. Namisha Ghoshroy, Program Manager. The value of universal design is that it's simple and it's easy and it will be able to impact all of your students. National Girls Collaborative Project. It suggests that rather than designing departmental offerings for the average user, design them for people with a broad range of abilities, disabilities, reading levels, learning styles, native languages, and other characteristics. Richard Ladner, professor. Universal design is a... Department of is, Computer Science and Engineering. It's really a goal. It's a, a way to... UW. Uh, approach education so that you maximize the number of people that are benefiting from the education. Words appear. Planning and policies. Four people are at a table, including the two women in wheelchairs. Campus stakeholders need to think about planning and policies. Ask yourself if people with disabilities and members of other underrepresented groups are on your staff, faculty, or student body. Jim Gorski, director. And looking at you know developing policy um, at a university level, I think it's important to recognize Disability Resource um, Center. First of all, gathering the right collection of folks um, to have that discussion, um, and not just include University um, of Florida. You know, faculty representation, but also it includes folks that provide services, um, students that are the recipient of those services, students that are in those classes. Um, people that will be a part of, um, you know, the design of what's going to be then the effect of the policy. When courses or services are being evaluated, be sure to include items that ask about the experiences of those with disabilities. Tony Delisle, postdoctoral associate. I think if University uh, of Florida, if, if an institution, a college, and a department is going to be friendly uh, to people with disabilities, I think it's really a, a, a cultural aspect, a social normative attitudes and beliefs that's prevalent and pervasive uh, throughout the institution, and colleges, and, and into the departments. Words appear. Facility and environment. Campus facilities should be accessible and welcoming. Ensure physical access, comfort, and safety for visitors with a variety of abilities, racial and ethnic backgrounds, genders, and ages. John McGuff, Assistant Director. A great place to start assessing your accessible facilities is in the parking lot. You should make sure that you have a sufficient number of accessible parking spots, and they should be well marked. Disability resources. Routes from for students of the UW. accessible parking to a building should be well marked with large, high contrast signs, a front door, should be for all users, whether they're in a wheelchair or are walking up to the front door. A front door for one should be a front door for all. Susan Gil Nestle. Students need to know where they are. Director of Disability Resource Center. Signage needs to be plentiful. Bellevue College. Really accurate. High contrast. It can't blend into the facade of the campus. You know, none of this lovely brushed silver nickel stuff that blends into the building. It has to stand out. A girl wheels to an elevator. As far as elevators go, I think that the, I, the most important thing for me is having the controls at the lower level so that I can reach them. She presses one. Restrooms should be wheelchair accessible with well-marked signs. Handicap signs. Counters and desks in student surface areas should be accessible from a seated position, and aisles should be wide and clear of obstructions. So faculty who require students to use labs on campus to complete coursework have to also be mindful of if a lab itself is accessible. So yes, can they get in the building? Yes, can they get into the lab itself? But within the lab, there's features that they may not think of. So is there an adjustable height workstation um, for someone who may need to move the table up or down? Are there Zoom text or screen readers on um, lab stations within it? If there's uh, somebody who is there to help, 
help desk? Can someone go and ask a question? Um, and is that an accessible desk or area? Um, or other things like printers or phones that might need to be used. All those things still need to be accessible to a student with a disability. Bree Callahan. Before faculty brings technology into classroom, they definitely need to be aware Director. of what it is and not just use it because it's a new, hot, flashy Disability resources. Uh, technology on the market. For students. You have to really know how to use it. UW. And the, the pros and cons of how accessible it is or how it will impact a student's learning um, environment. It's also important to consider computing equipment and software and to provide access to assistive technology for those who need it. Kelsey Byers, PhD. And software can range from biology, text-to-speech, voice recognition software, screen enlargement can be used in the classroom, outside of the classroom, and really benefits a wide variety of users. Hadi Ranjin. I believe we should uh, have at least a minimum accessibility uh, requirement checklist so we can uh, information technology specialist uh, ask the campus to follow that UW so if you are going to pro buy a product or develop a product we have to ensure those minimum accessibility checklist are met websites are uh, a very interesting place for a department to start because where else does a student go to find out basic information or maybe even their initial information about an academic department they are looking at so if a student with a disability cannot find out how to contact you, what you do, how are they even gonna be able to get more information or pursue you as a, as a program? So I personally think it should be the responsibility of their respective web developers or webmasters uh, to ensure that first their own framework, their own application or websites uh, are accessible and at the same time they have to provide training they just need to consider accessibility as important as, say, security and privacy. Words appear. Courses. A man lectures on screen. Faculty members should deliver courses that are accessible to all students, and accommodations must be provided in a timely manner. Make sure that video presentations used in courses have captions, and, where appropriate, audio descriptions. Captions allow a wide variety of people to understand content, and captions can often be searched to accelerate access to information. Al Suma, counselor and faculty member. By doing so, we're reaching a large number of individuals, and those include Seattle Central course, College, deaf and hard of hearing people who would get nothing out of a, a video that's not captioned, individuals whose English is their second language, um, individuals with ADD and LD, for example, may help them focus more on the words as they see it go across the screen. Lisa Elliott. I don't think that we totally understand Senior research scientist. how people take in and use information. So the more ways that we can offer it up, the better we all are. Jeffrey Bigham. As an instructor in a course, you can make your material accessible. You can make sure that the student isn't excluded. Associate professor. So even if you can't in a short amount of time change the policy on a university, you can change the policy in your own classroom. Carnegie Mellon University. I always feel like if, if I have a student that has an accommodation, that I as a teacher have to give a little to. I can't just do everything exactly the same way. So I, we have to be a little adaptable as professors so that you can reach the most students. Um, and that's what I practice. Speaking as both a student and an instructor, Assessment really needs to be flexible. We focus as instructors on exams, but there are many ways to assess student learning. Problem sets, exams, projects, writing. Words appear. Accommodation requests. Although applying universal design minimizes the need for accommodations for students, faculty, and staff with disabilities, it's also important to have a plan in place to respond to additional accommodation requests. Stefan Smith. And so the way that we ensure Executive Director. timely and effective accommodations Ahead. is by planning our policies and planning our practices that include our academic departments. Jose Blackerby. We have to do it faster. Center Director. We have to do it with fewer resources. SRI International. And we have to do it for a broader range of the population. And we're all on the hook for that, and we should be. Described by AudioEyes. For more information, consult DEWIT's Center on Universal Design and Education, www.uw.edu slash doit slash c-u-d-e.
This video is based on work supported by the National Science Foundation under grant number HRD 0833504. Any opinions, findings, or recommendations expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2015, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged.